Or today, the city of Las Vegas is trying to prevent another tragedy like the Alpine Motel fire last year. Six people died in that fire and dozens of others were injured and displaced when the building caught fire back in December. 13 Action News reporter Jeremy Chen is live with more on how the city is trying to educate rental property owners and protect tenants. Well, it's all quiet here in front of the Alpine Motel Apartments, Ross and Kalina, and that's really been the case ever since that deadly fire broke out. And as of right now, still vacant, no one allowed inside at this point, and questions remain on what building owners can do to ensure they're up to code. Now, the city will be hosting a public meeting today to educate rental property owners and managers about their responsibilities and the safety requirements they must meet. The meeting will provide information about fire safety requirements as well as code standards the properties must meet within the city of Las Vegas. Now this all comes after the city's deadliest residential fire in December killing six people where lawsuits have been filed alleging code violations and wrongful deaths. City planners say they want to make sure all property owners are on the same page. Our efforts and energies are always towards getting the property up to code um, so that it's livable and a quality experience for the tenants um, and it's safe for our community. And today's meeting is going to take place from 2 to 4 this afternoon in the City Council Chambers on the second floor of City Hall. That's located at 495 South Main Street in the City of Las Vegas. Now, if you do happen to miss that particular meeting, there'll be another one coming up in March. And also coming up at 630, we'll dive into some of the most common code violations city inspectors have found. Jeremy Chen, 13 Action News.